This video will go through some of the basic editing features that are available to faculty inside of Kaltura. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to access Kaltura. So once you've logged into Canvas, if you click on a course, and it doesn't matter what course because Kaltura is attached to your account, so it isn't course specific. So click on any course and what you'll find is over on the left hand course menu you have a My Media option and that's where Kaltura is. In fact Media Gallery and My Media are both going to bring you into Kaltura but My Media is the better one to select. So I'm going to select My Media and that brings me into the Kaltura interface and you can see here I've got a selection of videos that I've got uploaded and in some of the other videos it shows you how to either record the video or how to upload a video but what you're going to want to do here now is I'm going to select a video that I'm going to upload so I'm going to click on the video itself and you'll see that brings up the video as it shows right there and if I scroll down, one of the actions that are available to me is to edit that video. Once the screen loads up, you'll see that I can edit some of the basic descriptions here. And I've got some of, so I can change the name and the description. I can add tabs. I can disable comments or enable them if I wanted to. I can allow this I can change the media ownership which means that I can essentially give this video to another user in canvas or if I have a colleague that I want to be able to share this video with so that my colleague could edit it and by colleague I mean any individual who has an account within the TCUS canvas system I can add them here under add collaborator as you can see there are certain thumbnails that I could upload so that instead of coming up with this interface here we would actually have a different loading screen if I wanted to have a different uh, thumbnail there. I can download the video. I can edit captions that I may have already ordered or if I've already gone in and created a caption file I can upload that. If there are certain things I want to attach to it here. For example, I could include the PowerPoint slides if this was a narrated PowerPoint. And then last but not least, I can actually add chapters to the video. So if this was a longer video, say a recording of the class, and you were covering three topics, you can add the different topics here by just scrolling across to where it should be. So say if I wanted to add a video right there, I can create a new chapter right there so that's when I start my second topic is at that point. The other thing that you can do in here is you can actually do some more specific editing. So I could launch my editor and actually edit the video file itself. So the editor is currently launching and what you see here is I have the option now of doing a few things within the editor itself. Uh, specifically you notice that I can split the video and I can also set out certain points. So if I were to move across here you see I can take and trim the beginning and the ending. So for example if I had a video that I had recorded on Zoom where some of the initial stuff as I'm getting ready and then as I'm closing out the class if I didn't want those pieces I can just use these sliders over here on the side and figure out okay it's roughly at the uh, 0.58 second mark and then if I click on the set out it actually trims the two edges off so you can see there's no longer a beginning and end here now so my video actually starts right there. Another thing that I can do is I can actually go in here and say I made a mistake right here around the 39 second mark. I can split the video right at that point and then move up and I started again here at the 45 second mark 
So I can split there. And then what I can do with this little spot in the middle now is I can come over here and I can delete that one piece. And then you can see that I can now take my two videos And you can see now, as I've taken that piece out, it actually doesn't actually disappear. So you can see if I scrolled back over here, it reappears. But if I were to play it up here, As you can see, the port part that I deleted out, it removed that from the video that was playing up here. So if I were to save the video, it would save it without this piece in here. So while it looks like it's still available to me, and it is if I wanted to retrieve it, it is gone in the version that is currently up here. So those are some basic editing features that Kaltura has the ability to basically clip off the beginning and the ending or to split the video so you can clip out parts in the middle that you want to remove. For example, if you were doing testing during that period or you were reviewing for an assessment and you don't want that to be part of the recording. Now, when you're finished, you have two options here at the top. You can save it or you can save a copy. Now, typically, what I will do is I will save a copy, and there's a reason why that one's in blue and that one's in white, because they want, essentially, they're recommending you to do that. Essentially, what saving a copy means is it's going to make a second copy of the video, and they're going to save the edited one there. If I click save here, it's going to save it over the original video file, and I may not want to do that. While I've made some edits here now, there's parts that I might want to put back in there. Or, for example, I might have used the original file and just made a video now of the first 10 minutes of class. And then I could save just the first 10 minutes. And then I could come back to the original later on and make a video that just saves the next 10 minutes of class. So I always save a copy and it'll ask you what you want to call it. In this case I'm just going to call it edited because that's what it is. Um, if it was an instance where I was trying to take a longer class, say I had a 60 minute class and I was trying to break it up into segments, so instead of using the chapters option to break it up around the three topics, say I spent the first 18 minutes of class on one topic and then we did a little activity that took about five minutes in class and then I went on to topic two, which would be around say the 23 minute mark and I took say 17 minutes on that particular topic bring me up to the 40 minute mark and then we had a little discussion in class but I didn't want the discussion uh, but that took about six or seven minutes so now I'm up to 46 or 47 and then the last 13 14 minutes of class was topic three I could actually create this video where I had class one dash March 2nd 2020 and then I could just insert the topic name in here so I'm just gonna call it topic A and so that would be what I did from minute 1 or I guess minute 0 until minute 18 when I was covering that first topic um, since I just have a single class here I'm just gonna go back and call it edited and I'm gonna click create and if I go back to my media You'll see now that I have a new video that's currently rendering. So here's my original, the class one video. One of the things to note is that it will take much longer for Kaltura to render the video that you edited. 
in comparison to the amount of time it takes to render a video that you have uploaded to Kaltura of similar length. So the video has fully rendered here now and for the record this video is less than a minute in length after being edited. Uh, the original was about a minute and a half in length. The original upload took probably about two or three minutes whereas the rendering of the edited video where I chopped off a few seconds off of the beginning and end, about 10 seconds, 15 seconds off each, and I removed about five seconds from the middle. That rendering took probably about 12 to 15 minutes. So give that as a guide for how much that you want to go in and edit and how long it will take to render those edits after you are completed. But as you can see here now, I've got my original video here, and I've got my edited video here. Now, they're both still set to private, and leaving your unedited or your original footage as private is perfectly okay. But if I want to use this in my course, I'm going to need to publish it. Now, there's two ways in which I can do that. The first is I can just click on the little radio button over here, and then under Actions, I can click on Publish, and that will publish that one item. The other way in which I can do it is I can click on this little pencil icon over here on the right, and it will take me back to the editing screen. And in the editing screen, if I scroll down to the bottom, and if I go to the media itself, and from the media page itself, I can scroll down, I can click on the Actions button, and if I select Publish, it'll give me the option of changing it from Private to Publish, and it'll ask me where I want to publish it to. So I am going to say that I want to publish it specifically in this course, and then I can click on Save. And now it's been published into this course. So if I go back to my media, you'll see that it's published there now, which means I can now use this video in this particular course. So I could upload it as a page into this particular course. So that is how to do some basic editing of a video that you have either recorded or that you have uploaded into Kaltura inside of Canvas.